Hey, Earthly Virgos. I hope you all are having a good Easter weekend. I just came on to give a brief message. If you all hear something in the background, I got some potatoes on the stove boiling for some potato salad. My brother wants to come over tomorrow to barbecue. So, all right. So I'm going to ask the spirits to give us messages for the Virgos tonight, please. I've already done some praying. I've put some uh, Palo Santo and I used some sage. We have a star card. And we have the page of wands. Got to make a decision. The knight of wands. Okay. Um, you got to make a decision on who you're willing to give your time to. Some of you have to make a decision who you're willing to give your body to because you might be uh, hooking up or, or this person wants to hook up with you and, and they're really, really fast. They have some fast energy and you like, hold up, back up, just give me a moment to to get to know you better. This is not going to, I'm not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of person, all right? Well, we have here, nine of cups, though. So this person is coming toward you, Virgo, with pure sex on the brain, all right? Um, but you got to wonder, you know, is it in it, is this person in it for, for me? Do they have feelings for me? Do they care for me? But no, I, I think that this person likes the fact that you are who you are, that you seem to be a real nice down to home person, kind of like a, uh, ne the next door, the girl next door or something like that. And they see how, how uh, beautiful you are. They see the purity in you and they want a piece of it. All right. It's like, you're like the girl next door. It's like you're literally the girl next door to this person. Doesn't mean, of course, that you have to live next door to this person. Oh, wow. We have a five of cups. I'm hearing that song, huh? I'm going way back in my head, y'all. Okay? So don't laugh. Uh, I used to be a huge, huge fan of Bobby Brown. He had a song called Girl Next Door. I can't remember the words of it, but he said, come to find out she lived right next door. Okay? Your very essence to your presence, I do adore. So this person adores your essence. They uh, they adore your, your innocence. I'm going to look that song up. Hold on for a second. One second. Okay. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. This is crazy. I mean, I meet the most beautiful girl coming to find out she lived right right next door. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is rough on me. I just got to tell somebody. I just got to talk to somebody. Okay. Let me tell you about a girl who's blowing my mind. She's really new in town, fresh and lovely, and ever so fine. I say, how do you do? There's never been another girl like you. My heart just skips a beat whenever you're near me. She lets me walk with her. I thought it couldn't get any better, but it was even more. I found out the girl lived right next door. So anyway, this person may not live right next door to you or vice versa, but this emperor, um, he likes what he sees in you. and He wants to come near you. It's like this person wants to approach you because they see, they see that you are indeed a divine feminine. Okay, they see your very essence and they... They adore your sexiness. It's like you're sexy and you don't realize just how sexy you are. They see it. You may not see. You don't think that you're sexy, or you may, you may, you may not think that you're fine. This person likes bush. I mean, okay. This person likes hair down there. So if you choose to sleep with them, just know that they like it bushy. Cause you know, got some bush right here. They like that, and we got some bush right here. Yeah, they like that kinky shit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Their favorite, listen, their favorite color is kind of red. I mean, it's red. <laughs> so, okay. I was just, this is so literally so crazy, but I was just talking to a friend, but she's also a subscriber. And I had texted her a picture of somebody, and that person was wearing red <laughs> because that's his favorite color. But anyway, different different topic, but that's just so crazy. It's, I may be picking up on this energy of, of what, I, what we just discussed. But you got to watch out for this person. 
okay there's something about this person that may not be right for you not to say that this is not a good person but it just may not be the person for you all right okay this person is very very i think this person loves women you know, chart loves the sex, but they see something in you that's special and they want a piece of it. All right. And you may not be, you may not, you may not be your energy that you have may not be something that you're used to with this part. This person sees you and they're wanting you full force, full steam ahead. You're like, hold on, wait a minute, slow down. You know, y'all got to excuse my nails. I put those fake damn things on yesterday and they're already falling apart. I can't stand nails. But anyway. So this person is male or female, take it how it resonates, definitely wanting to come toward you because we have the fool and we have the five of cups and we have the queen of cups. And you're saying to yourself, you're minding your own business, probably still getting over what you've been through in the past situation, you know, but this person is saying like, wow, you know, I'm going to tap that ass, you know, maybe they like your ass. Okay. And this person is wanting to come toward you. They they have issues too that they're dealing with in their life. They may not even want a connection, a relationship. Maybe they just want to, to bed you, to, 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 to tap, tap that ass. All right. This is, this is pretty much literally what I was just talking about over the phone. <laughs> this is so crazy. Okay. We got the three of wands and we have the nine of pentacles. The Ace of Swords. You may text this person back and forth too. This person, you know, may may text you or seen pictures or something by you that you sent each other or whatever the situation. You may just text each other back and forth or whatever. You're like, wow, you know, what does this person want with me or or what can I do for you? You know, whatever the situation is. But we have you in the Three of Wands energy. Like I've I've seen it all before. I've done it all before. I don't want to go through this kind of stuff in my life anymore. Not right now. And this person has definitely something going on in their life um, that, that they'll tell you, you know, I don't want a relationship, but that doesn't mean, look, surrender to passion. That don't mean I can't screw your brains out. Fuck your brains out. Take it how it resonates. All right. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite, ignite your passion, Virgo, and let it flow. So this person is, is, I'm telling you, they're coming at you full force because they see what they like. But you got to understand that this person may be hiding something behind that mask. I mean, and honestly, if they tell you, this person may downright tell you that I don't want a relationship. I don't want a connection. I just want to screw. All right. I just want some of that, that goody goody. Okay. I just want some of that cush. I just want some of that Mary Jane. All right. I just want some of that cookie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do I want to say that because I'm hearing it in my head? What do you call your sweet stuff? <laughs> Put it in the comments if you will. What do you call your sweet stuff? Don't get vulgar. Just something fun. Something funny. It'll make others laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all this there's the guy at work he flirts with me a lot i mean literally a lot told me the other day <laughs> he said you sitting on that heat <laughs> so what do you call your stuff your your goody goody okay that's too many okay my god what do you call your goody goody? Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small because this person sees something in you that's very special. Okay? And they want to partake in a taste of your goody goody. All right? But surrender. Say, look, if you can't give me what I want, a full blown relationship, I don't need this. I don't want just something casual or something sexual. But if this is something that you want, it's, it's on and popping. I'm not even gonna pull. Let me pull a love card though. Let's see. What is this person? What is this person's motives toward Virgo, please? Toward toward the person next door, male or female? What is? Look, free yourself. <laughs> free yourself. You don't want this. Cause all this person wants to do, all your person wants to do is is, is stick his pickle in your cucumber. You get it? What is this person's motives toward Virgo? What is Virgo's motives toward 
What is this person's motives toward Virgo? Or Virgo, you could be doing this to this other person also. Or that you all could both be, be Virgos. Unrequited love. There's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this thing going. It's all about the boo-boo. All about the booty. All about the booty. All right. This person wants to come in and, and kiss that hand. Romance your ass. What's that saying? And from the movie, romance your sweet ass in a wet dream. Okay. Wedding. You'll have heart to heart conversations. So this person was probably married or or divorced or whatever, but you all are going to have heart to heart conversations about this. You know, and they're going to explain things to you, and that's why you should free yourself for from this person because this person's not ready to settle down. But there is look. See that? Look at that. Hanging, hanging on. Look, I'm so this person, you all, there is some attraction, okay, between the two of you. But this person is literally hanging on to what's hurting them from this past marriage or past relationship or past breakup. I've never had that happen. Look, this person is, is, is hanging on tough. He's probably or she's probably trying to get back with their ex, which is why they, you know, it's like. This person is going through some tough times with this person, with their past or whatever, and they still haven't let go, okay? Even though they see you, even though they see some potential here with you, they can't let it go. They can't let it go. Um, okay. Sir Charles, Sir Charles, I can't let go. Hold on, Sir Charles. I can't let go. Okay, so look at this. I'm hearing this 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 lyric this song, Sir Sir Charles. I can't let go. Literally shaking. This person is holding on tough to this connection with this with this individual who they're with. I remember one Sunday evening I was sitting at home, and my best friend came over, and he looked at me with tears in his eyes. I ain't even gonna ask him what's wrong. He looked at me. He said, "I didn't go to work today." He said, I followed my woman to the traveling inn hotel and it broke my heart. Okay. And I said, man, maybe you just ought to forget about her or him, you all. And he said, Sir Charles, maybe you've been, you've never been in love or maybe you've never felt the things I felt for the little girl. All right. But all I know, I sat there watching the tears roll down his face and he looked in looked me in my eyes and he said these words I just can't let go no 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 just can't let go and then he said I never missed one day from work never denied her the to the least little things I'm a father to the children sometimes I cook the food bring home my money but anyway this that person she he can't let go or she or you whoever this person can't let go of the relationship that they had prior to meeting you they're still holding on tough and though they're attracted to you they're still holding on to that hurt that heartache and pain because their person probably cheated which is why the divorce or separation took place look they're holding on tight you know all right final card Virgo. Give me a final card for the Virgos, please, Spirit. And we have you physical, your physical energy, drive, strength, and fighting spirit. And this is the Mars card. So this person sees your energy. They feel your energy. They feel how strong you are. They want to be a part of your they want to be a part of your energy circle because they feel your energy is 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 innocence to 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 this person and they see something that are feeling something that you're possibly not feeling they feel your you have a physical energy toward this person it's like you all are drawn to each other because you have a connection the area the area of your life is about long-term significant partners romantic business or family so you don't want a relationship with this person or a connection with this person or anybody that's not going to be long term you don't want a wham bam thank you ma'am relationship like this person does but you want so much more in your life and you deserve so much more you don't have to to settle for just the the, the ding-a-ling or the coochie coo or the, the or whatever you whatever the ever clever name that you call it Okay, or, or sitting on your hot box or whatever you want to call it. All right, because you want more. This is what you want. The area, this area of your life is about long-term significant partners, 
and that person was most definitely not be a significant a significant partner to you because they're still hanging on they're still holding on to that person they were in a relationship to or married to all right talk to y'all later